Hi, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Understanding the various meanings of a particular word in text is key to understanding language. To help with this challenge, we're happy to announce the release of WordSense annotations, manually annotated with senses from the new Oxford American Dictionary. This is one of the largest releases of fully sense annotated English corpora, and the GitHub link is on the post. There were three posts this week from Google Play in conversation with developers about their success on the platform. First, the co-founder and CEO and the growth hacking manager of Wallapop explained how using store listing experiments has increased their conversion rate by 17% and has allowed them to optimize organic installs. Next are some tips from Peak and SoundCloud on how to grow your startup in Google Play. And a Southeast Asian indie developer talked about how they use Google Play features to improve their conversion rate by 25%, another to significantly improve user retention, and a third to grow revenue by 100%. Google Cloud audit logging helps you determine who did what, where, and when on Google Cloud Platform. We've significantly expanded the set of products integrated, including Google Compute Engine and Google Container Engine. Details on how to get started are on the post. A range of New York City public datasets are now available on Google BigQuery, including over 8 million 311 service requests, 1 billion yellow and green taxi rides, and a lot more. I know this because Rado Meyer told me so on the first episode of Today I Learned with BigQuery. Follow the link to the post to see his video on this newly available big data, or the next link for this week's episode on how to run a terabyte of queries on Google BigQuery each month without needing a credit card. One more thing, we recently announced that we've signed an agreement to acquire Fabric to continue the great work that Twitter put into the platform. Fabric will join Google's developer product group, working with the Firebase team to help you build better apps and grow your business. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Developer Show. To catch some of our previous episodes, check out these links right over here.